Next week marks the 175th anniversary of Mahoning County. But as you can imagine, life back in 1846 looked much different than it does now in the Valley. Oh yeah, tonight Danielle Cotterman takes a look back on the history and how the fight for Youngstown to become the county's political power was taken all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. The year was 1846. James K. Polk was president, the average lifespan less than 40. Children attended school only until about the age of 10, and transportation, mainly horse and ox, on dirt roads. Fast forward 175 years, we know Mahoning County looks much different. This 175th anniversary just celebrates all the people who have lived here and then contributed so much to our history and to our county. At its inception, Mahoning County was formed from the southern part of Trumbull County and the northern part of Columbiana County. Youngstown wasn't always the county seat. Canfield claimed that title originally. People in Youngstown were highly disappointed, angry uh, that this plan passed through. Over the next 30 years, Youngstown grew politically and economically, eventually voters approving a change for county seat. But legal battles over the vote ensued, taken all the way to the Supreme Court. There was a legend that grew up afterward, uh, mainly with Canfield people, that Youngstowners came in the middle of the night and broke into the courthouse and loaded everything up and brought it back while the Canfield people were asleep and unaware of all that. That, of course, is a legend. It happened in the middle of the day, but it is, would have been a significant thing. The county has evolved over the years from mainly farming to a mix of industrial and now suburban as well. But still today, one tradition, the Canfield Fair, that began just one year after Mahoning County was formed, remains a staple in the community, keeping part of our history alive. With more local news, I'm Danielle Cotterman.